To set up video analytics, you first go into the menu uh, and you hit video. And you'll see the setting icon on the top right hand corner, you go into that. Uh, and to add a new rule, you go into recording rules, add a new rule. And you'll see here video analytics. And here you'll see your, uh, your external camera or your internal camera. You have two types of video analytics. You have ground zone and you have tripwire. First we're going to click on ground zone. And we hit next. And here you'll have a suggested object size. If your camera is inside, you may want to increase this object size to something maybe medium or large. Um, for an external camera, we're going to leave it at suggested. Um, if it's an indoor camera also, you need to change the scenery mode to indoor. And um, we're going to click next. Here you get to name your uh, rule. So for this one, we're going to put outdoor camera. If we scroll up, we can then decide on the size of our box. So the idea is you set your box to an area where there's there may be motion. Um, for our back garden, we are going to just set it over here because the back gate is over to the over to the left hand side. So if anybody comes across that box, it should trigger a motion detection alert. Um, and we can also set the duration inside the area of interest. Um, you can set it uh, as as long as 120 seconds. So if somebody's standing around, maybe looking in the back window for long enough, um, it'll then trigger a motion. It also reduces the number of clips if you don't want. Um, let's say you go in the back gate or you're in the back garden a lot, you don't want it to trigger every every time you walk through the box. So for this we're going to put it to 60 seconds. And then you can also set the minimum delay between clips. Um, we are going to set it uh, something a little bit lower, like one minute. You can decide to run it at all times or only during the following times. You can also decide on when you don't want the motion detection rule to be applied. If you're in the house a lot and you you know you don't want it triggering while you're in the house, you can decide on you want the, the motion detection rule to be applied except when the panel is disarmed. Send notifications for clips containing. This is basically if, for instance, our motion detection rule is applied to the back garden, there's a good chance that there won't be any vehicles around there. So we'll decide to untick that and leave person and animal uh, selected. You can also add in an automation rule if you have a, a smart bulb you can decide that the smart bulb will go on for uh, 15 seconds just to notify you that there's somebody outside.